All right, guys, it's that time. So many of you guys have been asking for me to do a video like this, and finally, we're gonna go ahead and do one. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little Q&A video and answer some of your guys' questions, and uh, yeah. But before we get right into that, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you do. Only about 4% of you guys who are watching my videos right now are actually subscribed to the channel, and it really, really helps me out if you guys can smash the subscribe button. With that said, though, let's get right into the video. Hold up. Okay, so about two days ago, I put out this post right here. Basically, I asked you guys for all of the questions that you got for me, and if I get enough, I'm gonna go ahead and make a video like this and answer them all. We definitely didn't get as many as I was hoping to, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer all the ones we got here, and hopefully this will be a good enough video for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and go through these in no particular order, but here we go. Rapid Fire, what's your favorite anime? What's your favorite story game? Why slash when did you start playing CSGO? Do you have a girlfriend or a single gang? Are you Russian? Well, I don't watch anime. I don't really have a favorite story story game considering I really haven't played any. I started CSGO about four and a half years ago when my friend bought me a Steam gift card for my birthday and first introduced me into the game. Yes, I'm in that single gang, and no, I'm not Russian. Where do you live, my friend? I live in California in the US. I want to see a video where you play COD M and I will be more than happy to play with you. Well, considering all of you guys here pretty much only watch my CSGO content, even if you tell me to play other games and stream it or make videos about it, none of you guys really watch it, so I don't really think I'm going to be making a video about that. How old are you? Are you pro in CSGO? Will you play Brawlhalla? More giveaways xdddd? And keep going, you are the best YouTuber, I'm Exotic Gaming on the Discord. I bet what's up Exotic, I am 18, I am not a pro in CSGO, and I have never played Brawlhalla and I don't necessarily plan on it. Any moment in your life where you were going through a hard time or you had to take some hard decisions. To be honest, I can't really name any off the top of my head to answer your question here, but I know there's definitely been some, I just can't think of them right now. Which skin should we buy in $15? I'm guessing you're asking what skin should you buy if you have $15, and I would say any skin that you like for whatever gun you like. Are you real? Are you the woman? Bruh. Favorite YouTuber? Yes, yes, okay anomaly Ooh, this is a nice long one got some interesting questions for you k's one what is your favorite weapon and one skin that you think best fits that weapon in csgo one of my favorite weapons in the game is actually the desert eagle and i absolutely love the code red skin for it i think that fits it amazingly well two other than csgo do you have any other games that you play and or played before you started playing csgo so before csgo i was a hardcore minecraft player that's literally all i played so yes i've played that that's what i played before and as for other games that i play i, I haven't had a lot of time lately but when i do play games other than csgo it's normally games like osu gta a little bit of minecraft here and there maybe some call of duty cold war but that's really about it number three which version of counter-strike do you think is the best well i've spent most of my time playing counter-strike on go and i've played css before but i haven't actually played cs 1.6 yet so to be honest i can't really answer that question four have you ever played one of those zombie escape community servers before i have not but i should definitely take a look at doing that because you were not the first person to ask me if i've done that yet five since i haven't seen any of your non-CSGO vids before, what games do you usually play? Well, for the YouTube channel, because even though some of you guys want me to play other games, everyone strictly only watches and supports the CSGO content, so I don't have any other videos besides CSGO content. I will occasionally stream other games on my Twitch, which is linked in the description for those of you who are curious to see it, but I don't have videos for any of those other games that I play. Why and when did you start to see a decline in views? Uh, what decline? When you start YouTube channel, and what motivated you to start a YouTube channel? Edit when you start playing CSGO. Well, I started my YouTube channel back in 2013, and I was motivated by all the big Minecraft YouTubers at that time. And I started playing CSGO about four and a half years ago. Do I have a girlfriend? Nah, baby, it's that single gang for me. How important do you think crosshair resolution, sensitivity, DPI, and monitor hertz and FPS are? I feel like things like crosshair resolution and sensitivity, DPI can be important, especially if you're big on personal preference, but having anything that's not in the range of a bad crosshair isn't really gonna make you better at the game, nor nor is having a specific resolution, sensitivity, or DPI or anything like that. If you want to get good at something, you really have to practice, and while these things could help, they're not going to make you good. Monitor hurts, refresh rate, and FPS, on the other hand, definitely will help just improve your gameplay a lot. If you want to become better, you definitely want to be focusing on this. You want to have at least 60 hertz if you're playing CSGO, but if you can, purchase a 144 hertz or higher refresh rate monitor. It is a night and day difference. And then, of course, FPS. The better FPS you can get, the better your game is going to look and perform. 
form. Keep in mind though, if you only have a 60 hertz monitor, you're only gonna be able to max your game out at 60 FPS. It's not gonna make a difference after that. Do you prefer op, AK-47, or M4? To be honest, I like all three. If I have an op, I'm gonna keep the op. If I have an AK, I'm gonna keep the AK. But if I have an M4, if I do see an op or an AK, I'm gonna pick that up instead. How much have you spent on CS and how much would you undo if you could? Believe it or not, my entire inventory is pretty much built off of Steam gift cards and sponsored money. I've spent very little on CSGO, so to be honest, I wouldn't undo any of it. One, favorite CSGO operation and why? To be honest, I don't really have a favorite operation. The time I've been playing CSGO, they've only had three operations ever. Operation Hydra, Operation Broken Fang, and Operation Shattered Web. And to be honest, all of them have their unique features, but all of them have their flaws as well, so I can't necessarily pick exactly one. Two, what are your top five favorite skins in general? <laughs> now, this is a little bit of a hard one for me. I absolutely love a lot of the skins in CSGO, and to be honest, I couldn't even tell you five. But just to name a few, I love any of the Neo Noir skins. I love the AK Bloodsport skin. I love the Neon Rider skins. I love the Code Red skin. And I pretty much love all of the nice skins there are, except for like the Safari mesh and all of the crappy looking ones. Three, PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X? Well, I don't play console at all, so I feel like I can't really answer that one. Four, your favorite CSGO player. Personally, I don't really watch any of the pro stuff, so I don't really have a favorite. But because I know Simple the most just from the clips I've seen of his content on YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and say Simple. Five, when are you gonna do a face reveal? I'm saving that face reveal for a big time subscriber mark, maybe like 50,000 subs or 100,000 subs. What city from Canada you form? I am not from Canada, so I am not from a Canadian city. How old are you and what's your opinion on Valorant? I am 18 and my opinion on Valorant is they just copied CSGO and Overwatch, tweaked a bunch of things to avoid a couple of copyright issues, and basically made it a game that people will get bored of very quickly. AKA, I'm not a big fan of it. I personally got bored of it really fast and I haven't even started playing it. Have you ever been bored of CSGO? And in that case, how do you find the motivation to keep playing? Well, when I'm playing every single day, like during the summer, for example, I could definitely get bored of it very easily and get less and less motivated to play it more but during the school year when I'm only playing maybe once or twice a week I never get bored of it because I always get excited to go back and play it again especially when I'm making content or live streams for you guys I absolutely love doing that and I love getting something out of it at least but to answer this specifically yes I have been bored of CSGO before and when I do get bored I pretty much just take a break and then come back to it later and it looks like that's all the questions I got so hopefully this video is not super short hopefully I'm gonna be able to and hopefully those of you who ask these questions got the answers you were looking for i guess but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys do smash that like button and subscribe if you are new and other than that i'll see you guys all in the next video peace